So Mr. Free Dr. Freeze became Dr. Freeze. That was probably one of the most epic episodes. Um I, I thought it was awesome. Uh you know, showed it showed him before he became the, you know, person who had to be stuck in a machine. I like the fact that his wife was already sick before that point. But she was in the comics she was sick and that was the whole reason why he was developing this technology, freezing technology was to try to keep her alive long enough so that he could go off and um, and find her for you know the disease that was ravaging her body. Well, that is my bad, but you know we we've become so fascinated with almost deaths or fake deaths or whatever you want to call it that it's only fitting that you know most shows revolve uh, around it now. Um, for the, for those specific reasons, right? Well, yeah, I can't argue with that. Um, you know, so I really hope Jerome isn't dead. I hope they bring him back. At you know, maybe this is explaining how Joker became, you know, who he is. Like you know, he is a very you know wily person. You know, almost makes it look like you know he can't be killed or you know can't be hurt, things like that. And maybe this is why. It's possible. Um. What was it? I'm kind of going a little off track here, but um, correct me if I'm wrong, but Supergirl is You're actually, wrong. I believe it's been can uh, cancelled by CBC. I, yes, is it, hasn't it? I do not know offhand okay. if it has or not. I've heard um, that it's, there's a, there's talk about in uh, putting it over on the CW network, and they have some big plan, the uh, big plan that they are planning to do was uh, when they Flash crossover, you know, they went off and talked about a multiverse and how the Flash came from his um, universe or his reality to her reality. <coughs> they are now talking about bringing back some of the cast members from Smallville to go off and to do it even one better. There's actually, the way that they finished up Smallville, uh, there was what people would assume was the appearance of Doomsday. And so, or not Doomsday, uh, Dark Side. Pardon me. And so, Darkside. Dark Side. And so, there, people had been speculating that there might have been a wormhole opening up that would allow this version of Superman to show up in Supergirl's world. And so, we could actually see a crossover of this as a one-time event, which you know people would consider to be really epic. Uh, yes and no. Uh. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of crossovers. I think it it does cause a confusion and complications, especially with storyline. I just um, think it's a crock bull that they would go up and say, "No, Supergirl is not in the same world as Arrow." That just seems like yeah, a, a huge crock to me. That that was a huge slap in the face uh, for someone who is as you know wonderful as Supergirl, um, you know, and all and all that stuff, and. I know a lot of people are questioning why she's called Supergirl and not Superwoman. Um, it's because when she first shows up, she's on the young side, and they wanted to kind of, even though she's technically uh, Kyle's older cousin, when she shows up, she's much younger than him uh, because she gets stuck in the Phantom Zone, you know, or something. I mean, they went up and changed her origin story several times since she was first introduced several you know years ago but um they wanted <laughs> to kind of make her you know seem a little bit more naive um, you know so that you know she could be mentored by her cousin which well, she hasn't actually been mentored by her cousin not too much no that's one thing i really suck i really hate is you know at one point see... they even go off and they gave her a really bad 1980s uh, costume and then killed her off before you know finding the way to bring her back. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, another classic dead, but not really dead. Yeah, and again, as I said before, no one ever really goes off and dies in comic books. There is a storyline uh, that they did in Batman where Joker kills Lois Lane. And Superman does the one thing that Batman never had the balls to do, and that is to kill off the Joker. Although it's been speculated that in the, uh, oh my goodness, uh, the Killing Joke, I think it was, 
uh, storyline. Where... Voiced by Mark Hamill. Or voiced by Mark Hamill, where we see him go off in uh, Paralyzed Robert Gordon. At the very end of it, he goes off and he tells a really bad joke to Batman. They both share a laugh. And then it's kind of suggested that Batman, you know, snaps and kills him. But Batman, hit, you know, this after Batman going to say on multiple occasions that, you know, he feels that, you know, he can't kill Joker because he can't cross that line by killing anybody. And I completely agree. Um, I don't know, you know, there's great news coming out of the, you know, the comic book world. Uh, you know, especially with our Wolverine, I think that's a huge, and huge thing. You know what? I mean, I, I know that you're a little worried that we're gonna lose Ben Affleck as Batman I don't in the like... Justice League, but I mean, let's just put it this way: hearing him as yeah, an executive producer on for the Justice League, uh, you know, part one is anything. It's nothing but a a really good idea. It really will suggest that you know. That this is going to be better than what it was before because we're we're gonna have someone here, you know, working on the movie who knows what he's doing. I I just hope it it, it doesn't mean that he's not gonna be Batman anymore. And not because I liked him as Batman. Uh that had that has nothing to do with this. You just it's, want some stability. I I do. You know, any major role like that, Batman, Superman, uh, you know, Iron Man, Wolverine. You want that stability. You you don't and, want to watch. Different people every single movie, and that's completely understandable. I mean, we're talking about back when, well, you were very young at the time. I mean, when they brought Michael Keaton in to go off and do the Batman franchise, Michael Keaton is often says he he feels you know sorry for Ben Affleck when he heard he was going to play the role because back when he played the part, you know, there wasn't you know the internet to go off and cause backlash, but I mean there would have been a huge backlash against Michael Keaton, who was a comedian who wasn't buff. It was completely in the body armor. And yet, I mean, he's considered to be one of the greatest um actors ever played Batman, period. But, you know, he was only in there for uh two movies and when Warner Brothers fired Tim Burton, he walked as well. And you know, I mean so then we end up getting stuck with Val Kilmer and Batman Forever. And then George Clooney in one of the few you know serious bombs of his career did Batman and Robin, uh, which pretty much killed that franchise. Until they brought it you know back several years later. Yeah, uh, with you know, you know Zack Schneider. Not no, not Zack Schneider. I uh, uh, guys, I'm not even in this, but you know. I, I love my care. Uh, we we are gonna eventually we're gonna start wrapping up this show. Uh, it has been a great Tuesday night, you know, talking about comic books and geek stuff and all that lovely, lovely, lovely things. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we're glad you could tune in. You know, it's all great to hear our fans out there, whether or not we can actually hear or see you. <laughs> um, wow, my voice is getting bad. This is awesome. this, this has been you know a really. I mean, we we've went off and we we've done quite a bit of stuff today before even before we came on the air for this episode. So it's not surprised that you're losing your. It always seems to be one of us. It's always one issues. of us. Yeah, whether either it's you or me, you know. So guys, never both of us at the same time. Uh, don't forget to check out SOS every Thursday as well. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about this Thursday, but I will think of something. Uh, I may have to delve deep into my arsenal of crap. Uh, uh, maybe you could just go off and you could even talk about like the, you know, I don't know. There's... We'll talk about uh, yeah, I'll, 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 man. We'll it's... talk about NHL. Yeah, there we go. Uh, actually, yes. Uh, I'll probably talk about the CFL draft uh, which is happening right now uh, you know, on your sports network. So, you know, I'll probably be talking about that on Thursday. Educate you Americans on some Canadian football. <laughs> I know Which is, you're bored. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know. I you guys are gonna hate me for saying this, but I honestly feel that the Canadian game is a far superior game than the American game. Not everyone's gonna uh, you know believe you, but whatever. So, anyways, catch that on Thursdays. Uh, we're gonna have merchandise coming up real soon. Uh, as soon as it arrives here in the studio, pictures will be taken. Our store will be updated. It'll be added to our Facebook as well as on our website. So 
with some fancy technology. Fancy technology. Yeah, fancy technology. Uh, so, you know, help support people. You know, you get a t-shirt. We'll have coffee mugs on there. Uh, we'll be expanding to other things as well. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Just come on, give us all your money already. But you know what, folks? We, uh, you will have to give us your money at another time because it is time for us to leave the show tonight. Yes, yeah, so follow me on Twitter, uh, the host with the most, uh, <laughs> at Real C-A-P-T Fizz, so at Real Captain Fizz. You can follow this local fellow at that mask guy. Follow the show at Fizz Mask Show. Or and just you, go to the website. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You know, www.fizzmashshow.com. Dot com. Check it out. We've got our Twitter on there. We've got our Facebook on there. All the little, you know, shows on there. We'll have the store on there. we got everything. Oh, yeah. Everything. Everything. If I was videotaping right yeah. now, my fingers are flying like oh, a gypsy. Yeah. Dig it. So, you know, check out the website. We're great on there. Uh, th- this Saturday, I will be at... Tavern United here in Winnipeg, uh, watching the UFC 198. Uh, so, you know... Can't you better have your Captain Fizz and Mask Guy shirt on. Tell oh, I, I plan to have a lot on. I will be advertising a lot that day uh, for SOS and this show. Uh, so, you know, if you want to ca- ca- catch down, we'll have a table down there. Uh, catch me on Twitter, message me on Facebook, whatever you want to do, come down and see and don't forget, check us out on our Facebook page. Again, you can find for that on our website. Or just uh, type in Fizzmask Man. Fizzmask Man. And you should be able to find it. But you know what, guys? It is time for us to depart you. And so, and in the meantime, and in between time, I say goodnight. God bless, and may the force be with you. And as always, stay frosted, my people. Good night. Au revoir.